some things are better viewed without parental supervision. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV shows you shouldn't watch with your parents. That is one beautiful penis. For this list, we're looking at those TV programs that might make family viewing a little uncomfortable. Did Chef ever try one of these on for size? God damn it, Chef isn't like that! These shows are filled to the brim with sex, violence, drug use, or just questionable life choices. We know our parents weren't angels, but we're also not trying to watch characters on TV dry hump with them in the room. Did you make them hard? Ever try to play pool with a rope? I won't be in your prank. Number 10, Oz. At least, <clears throat> not tonight. Yeah, this definitely isn't family-friendly viewing. Although the show is a well-scripted and well-acted look into the grim realities of prison life, it's also teeming with profanity, racial violence, and horrible sexual assaults. Just trying to give you a little jizz here. Trying to make you jizz. It's not exactly the type of thing you hunker down to watch for a marathon viewing sesh with your folks. Unless you're cool with your parents like that, in which case, have fun. Uh, he knows. He's too ashamed to admit he took one up the ass. Number nine, the L word. You are just so gay. So gay. I know. There's a time and a place to get into some steamy sex scenes on TV, and sitting next to your parents generally isn't one of them. I can ring up my Jesus. Jesus gonna make us my dying bed. This show focuses on the lives and loves of a close-knit group of lesbians in West Hollywood. It's because of her nipples. What do you mean it's because of her nipples? She has the best nipples in town and she knows it. Oh my god, you're so right. She has nipple confidence. While the passionate love scenes are some of the most titillating elements of the show, it's a little embarrassing to have to sit through with your folks. <laughs> Number 8, Californication. I don't want to see your cock anywhere near me. Why would I want my cock anywhere near you? Why would you want to be involved in a threesome with me? If you and your parents thought this was going to be The X-Files 2.0 because you saw David Duchovny on TV, oh, how wrong you were. Sweet baby Jesus, Hank is going to hell. The word fornication is right there in the title. Sure, he's a debauched writer who drinks a lot and has sex even more. Oh! That's what makes the show exciting. But it's a little gross when your dad gets super into it. It's nice to see some good old-fashioned family values in this morally bankrupt city of ours. That's me. I'm all about the family values. Number seven, Shameless. You think you can't be? You think that a guy can't be f***ing folding you? When your father's a deadbeat alcoholic, you're probably going to get into some less than savory activities. And when you're an unsupervised teen, Got a Hummer today. Or just a horny adult, <laughs> a lot of those activities involve sex. What are you hiding for? All right. No bubbling. Oh, sweet Jesus. Unfortunately for family viewers of the show, a lot of that sex happens on screen shamelessly. What's even better is you can almost guarantee that you're gonna see someone getting it on almost every episode. <laughs> Now, Daddy, am I still a whore? Number six, skins. <laughs> Can you be any harder? Nope. <laughs> the American version of this show was canceled due to its sexual content. Sid, what do you think of my tits? That should have been the first warning. While the series acknowledged that many teens do actually go all the way, a lot, it's not something most parents like to think about. And I need you now tonight, and I need you more than ever. What the f Especially not while they're sitting right next to their teenager, who may or may not be into that life. You can almost feel the disapproval radiating in your direction. I'm just gonna go out and come back in again, okay? What you? Number five. Jackass. Hello, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and this is a bikini. While there may not be sex, there's definitely nudity, usually accompanied by some ridiculous stunt that threatens to damage various body parts. Oh! <laughs> oh! 
It's like somebody gave a TV show to those kids your parents don't want you hanging out with. And now, through the magic of television, those delinquents are in your home anyway. The amount of cringe in the show is enough for your parents to get mad at you based on principle alone. I'm doing uh, a stunt tomorrow where I get put in a porta potty and dumped upside down. I need to know what pertinent shots I need to receive before this stunt goes down. Number four, hung. But the word I like to use is tool. Something that helps you get that very special job done. The entire premise of this show centers on a high school gym teacher who becomes a male prostitute to make ends meet. He also happens to be remarkably well endowed. I've got a big dick, Floyd. Hence the title. Okay, so you have a big dick. I mean, whoopee. There are plenty of sex scenes, since that's his job. Lick my tummy. Lick it. In addition to full-on nudity and other less than righteous deeds. Listen, not all women can come from just dick alone. Well, I haven't heard any complaints. That you know of. Why this would seem like awesome viewing for parental quality time is beyond us. Sex with you. Number three, True Blood. Who said anything about sex? You'd think that a show about vampires and werewolves and other mystical creatures wouldn't be that awkward to watch with your folks, but the opening sequence with half naked women and highly suggestive dancing should have been clue number one. Number two should have been every episode ever. Uh -huh. It's a show that regularly features bare naked butt cracks. Hey! Did you just pinch my butt? Boobs and a bunch of other great stuff. But it's not so great when your parents are watching your every move. <laughs> Number two, South Park. Go home, you little dildo! My brother a dildo? What's a dildo? Well, I don't know. And I'll bet Carmen doesn't know either. I know what it means. This show, in general, doesn't seem to like the characters who are parents. So it's easy to see why actual parents wouldn't get a kick out of it in real life. I just like to make love up your butt. Oh my god! Given the adult themes, the suggestive and sometimes offensive content, in addition to its tendency to test the limits of what's acceptable on TV, this show isn't for the morally severe. Now how about I meet you boys after work and we can make love? Excuse me? But who knows, your parents may surprise you. I call it Mr. and Mrs. Tenerman Chili. Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I made you eat your parents. Before we expose our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. In case you have to pee pee, I got this for you, all right? You boys. Oh my god! God damn it! Frank was supposed to empty that. Charlie, no wonder it reeks in here. You have open cans of pee everywhere. Well, I'm sorry, but you do not want to use that bathroom. The talent here is pretty weak, man. I mean, sure, I'd stick and stir any one of these broads, but you know, I really wish we had one of those hot black chicks. Bang, bang. Is in the house. Oh, I'm pretty good at this. I wish we had a, a 12 year old girl and a donkey. The first thing you should know about me is that I'm a whore. In a world of children in bikinis and grandmothers in me boots, the surest way to tell a prostitute is to look for the woman in the designer suit. I put the girls down, and then the voices started. They told me what to do. I was like an obedient child. Number one, Game of Thrones. <sighs> stop, stop. There's more sex in this show than you can shake an iron throne at. <clears throat> it is true what they say about the Northern girls. <laughs> <laughs> It also has more viciously brutal murders than you probably care to visually experience with your immediate relatives. Your famous cock must be very precious to you. Would you say it's your most precious part? 
While the show is addictive to watch, oftentimes for the sex and violence, it might be too much for the folks. <laughs> Very good, Khaleesi. But it's not like you got here through immaculate conception. They know what's up. Nothing you did with your mouth. So what lords do to their ladies in the South? I don't know. I just wanted to kiss you there is all. Do you agree with our list? I can't accept this. It's insanity. What show would you <sighs> never watch with your parents? I'll kill you, you flat-chested, sucking spastic horse up! Whoa, good swearing. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.